Naperville native James Holzhauer was on pace to break Ken Jennings' all-time Jeopardy cash winnings record. Until... Did you? You did. What did you wager? Chicago librarian Emma Betcher dethroned the champion in a stunning result. You know, I looked at it and thought, took a deep breath and thought, you know what, all good things come to an end. This had to happen one day. Family, friends, and fans gathered at Two Brothers Barrel House to watch the episode. Some in the crowd, including Ian, were aware of the loss that morning when the results were leaked on Twitter. Ian called me this morning because we've been planning this party together and he informed me that the possibility existed, although it was just a rumor and he didn't know anything. He had not had anything confirmed or anything like that. Some viewers were shocked that the notoriously aggressive betting James only wagered $1,399 in Final Jeopardy. Already behind Betcher, James knew his best chance of winning was for her to answer incorrectly and to not get caught by the third place contestant. Unfortunately for him, Betcher did know the answer and bet enough that James couldn't catch her making her the new champion. To see uh, a fellow Chicagoan uh, be the one that finally took him down was, was cool too. Uh, he wouldn't have wanted it any other way. After the episode, Ian reminded the disappointed crowd that James would return for the Jeopardy Tournament of Champions and made one other promise. Someday he'll eventually face Ken Jennings directly in an Ultimate Tournament of Champions, that's the truth. And uh, we can have another one of these. Holzhauer finished his run with the 16 highest earning games in Jeopardy history and the second highest total ever, with more than $2.4 million. For Naperville News 17, I'm Casey Krajewski.